on display are a small selection of material from representing Eddie Romaro's exploitation films and Gary De Leon's film Women in Cages, made in 1971. These films had elements of black exploitation. Informed by its colonial histories with the United States, the Philippines has hosted many American Philippine productions for low budget films since the 1950s. By the 1970s, the Philippines was an ideal production location for foreign films because of the low cost of its exotic locations, cheap labor, skilled English speaking partners, and tolerance for nudity and violence. From the 1950s to the 1970s, three director producers, Cesaro Santiago, Gary De Leon, and Eddie Romaro, became important mediators between the Philippines and American producers and distributors. Over this period, they made war, action, horror, and exploitation films for American audiences. Because they weren't made for local audiences, Romaro in particular has asserted in interviews that these films were woefully American films. Exploitation film is a film subgenre that sought to be financially profitable by exploiting a taboo or a niche genre. Of the different categories of exploitation films, black exploitation was a race-based subgenre that emerged in the early 1970s. Originally targeted at African American audiences, it ended up having widespread appeal. The term is based on black and exploitation, and it was coined in 1972 as a critique of the genre's perpetuation of negative black stereotypes. Yet the genre was the first to present black characters in lead roles. The Philippines was a host to these progressive representations. The iconic actress Pam Greer, who would play the first African-American heroine in an action film, began her career in the Philippines made film. She was part of Women in Cages 1971 and also acted in Twilight People 1972 and Black Mama, White Mama 1973. In considering these films and their complicated legacies of progressive cinematic representation, it is important to keep in mind that this period of filmmaking coincided with martial law. Many of Greer's characters and other scantily clad heroines of these films, such as in Savage Sisters 1972, were ironically fighting against tyranny and injustice, often fighting against military villains, and were part of revolutionary uprisings against dictatorships. <laughs>